Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have another great thrift haul to share with you. I love putting these videos together because um, I'm excited to share with you what I got, of course, and also I'm hopeful that this is helpful to you. I watch a lot of other resellers' hauls uh, here on YouTube and learn a lot about different brands I should be looking for, also information about the brands themselves, and almost most importantly, what types of price points people are getting their cost of goods of. So if that stuff sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing to this channel down below if you haven't done so already. For those of you who might be new here, I am a full-time working mom of four young children, and I'm a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app, and have recently loved putting together videos related to Poshmark. I also put out videos on fashion, beauty, and a mommy lifestyle, so if these topics sound interesting to you, please definitely consider checking out my other videos down below. So again, for today's video, I want to just quickly share with you what I got in my recent go to -well haul. And I tend to source items about one to two times per week. Um, a smattering of consignment stores, Goodwills usually, sometimes savers, occasionally retail arbitrage, as I've said in other videos, although that isn't um, too successful for me these days. Um, nonetheless, I just wanted to share with you some things that I'm searching for and looking when I'm out there, in addition to just highlighting some of my cost of goods. So I went to my local Goodwill and picked up quite a bit of items. I have four huge bags to share with you, so I'm gonna to try to breeze through these items as quickly as I can so this video isn't too long. And as much as possible, I am gonna show you the tags um, for all the items, so in case you're out there sourcing, you kinda of see what types of tags you wanna look for. So if you're interested in any of these items that I share with you today, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below and I'll let you know as soon as I have it listed in my Poshmark closet. I'm currently working through listing all these items as we speak, um, so if you're interested in something in particular, I can definitely work on getting that up uh, relatively soon. So the first bag of stuff I have here are all the shoes I got. And I love sourcing shoes. I think if you can get the right brands and styles, the return on investment is probably one of the best for shoes, I think. Shoes, jeans, and dresses, I think, do really, really well in terms of return on investment. So the first pair I got were these beautiful pair of Seychelles shoes, and they're a size six and a half. Seychelles, Los Angeles, I don't know if you can see that there. And this brand is sold at several places, I believe occasionally at Anthropology, Nordstrom, other really trendy places as well. And look at these boots. They're just really, really gorgeous. Woven design. And it has a zip up the back. Block heel. I was trying to wedge my feet into the just pair of shoes because I totally love them. Um, I think they're a little tight, so I probably will list them in my closet. But it looks like they've only been worn, I think, once probably. Or a couple times. So really good condition. As you can see, I paid quite a bit though. $14.99. A lot of my shoes are marked up at my Goodwill. But... I do really love this brand, and it's a full leather upper, really great style transitioning into the fall, so I thought perfect for this time of year. That's my first find. The next is a pair of shoes that I'd heard about a brand for, but just never found. It's Naot. I think it's an Israeli brand, as you can see here, maybe. And it's a line of comfort footwear, I believe, but they also make some pretty nice styles, and this is a kind of a classic Mary Jane style suede and patent upper. Uh, hard to go wrong with this. It looks like the retail price on here was $185 on the price tag. And I paid $12.49. It looks unused, however, which is one of the main reasons I wanted it. So I want to see how um, this one does. It's size 37. So I'll do some more research on it. But I definitely heard about this Comfort brand before, so I think they'll do pretty well. Comfort styles like Vionics and Clarks um, tend to do pretty well on Poshmark, so I think this brand may uh, hopefully follow that trend. The next pair of shoes I wasn't sure I should get, but I just like the styles. I figured why not. It's Kenneth Cole, uh, New York. And as you can see, it's brand new, and it's size 7.5, black suede, basic uh, flat here. So you can see it looks like somebody got it from a discount store but paid $56 at the discounted price. I got it for $15. And it's this really nice kind of ballet style lace ankle strap. So I'm not sure how these would do. I do like this design a lot. Kenneth Cole's a good brand and it's all suede. Perfect, I think, transitioning into fall as well. So I figured I'd give these a try. And then I just have two more pairs of shoes, and the next one is this pair of Franco Sartos, and look at this, that really cute uh, style wedge. 
has a little bit of a cork uh, detail here and it's full suede, an adjustable strap here at the ankle and it's peep toe in excellent condition. Again, it's really unused. As you can see, the soles look good. I paid $15 for these pair of shoes and the size I believe is a size seven, yes. And it's a full leather upper wedge from Franco Sarto. I do like selling this brand. Um, they have some nice comfort features and pretty trendy styles as you can see here. So I thought this would be a nice one to add to my Poshmark closet. And then I just have one final pair of shoes here and it's again a comfort brand and it's Bionic. I talked about this a couple minutes ago. But I just this week sold my pair of the perforated biotic flats or sneakers that I hauled in one of my previous videos. So this brand does really well. These boots are essentially new. It looks like they just have been tried on. I mean, the soles are just in pristine condition here. And as you can see, I paid $25, so a little bit higher than I tend to like to pay for. But in my experience selling Bionic so far, um, they've done super well. And this is really a new pair of boots. Look at the fringe detail, really cute style as well with some stunning details. Um, really versatile boot, um, absolutely love this design. So I'm hopeful that this will do well, even though I paid a decent amount for it. It's a size eight um, US, in case you're interested, but just a beautiful pair of boots. Perfect for this time of year going into the fall months. Okay, so that does it for shoes, and I do have just one accessory item to share with you, and it's actually a purse, a crossbody bag, and I did say before that I have a hard time sourcing purses or handbags at my local thrift stores. For whatever reason, the bags that I see out there just aren't great to sell on Poshmark. They're either too worn, I don't really like the brands, um, just really hard to find good uh, handbag items. So I was excited to find this particular purse. So it's this beautiful crossbody fringe bag or shoulder bag. Actually, probably more of a shoulder bag. It's a little bit of a shorter strap, but for a petite person, I think could be crossbody. And it's from Topshop. You can see here the really cool fringe detail, some Python printing. It has a double zip on top here. It was $12 at my Goodwill, but in excellent condition. Super excited to find this, just because I never find purses in good condition that I like. But I thought this was a really trendy style. You may not be able to see the top shop name there, but there it is. So I thought a very versatile look definitely could transition well into the fall months as well. So I'm excited to see how this will do. Topshop in general, for, at least for clothing for me, does really well. So I think that their accessories potentially could do well as well. And this chain is also detachable, so it can be held as a very adorable clutch like this. So that does it for the shoes and my one accessory. So I wanted to move into my clothing items and just to remind you that I'm just pulling these items out of the bags that they came in. I have not had a chance to take off tags, steam them, and prepare them for listing. So please keep that in mind. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you basically what I got. So the first item I have here is this pair of jean shorts. It's AG and Liberty. So I'm not really familiar with this particular collaboration. I'll have to do some research on it. But AG is Adriano Goldschmidt, and I said before, I love selling AG jeans. They move pretty well for me. I haven't yet found a pair of AG shorts, though, so I was excited to find these. It's in a size 30, and as you can see, it's this beautiful pair of printed shorts. It has this floral rose print on it, and the cutoff hem, as you see there, that's frayed. It's a really cute uh, pair of shorts for this time of year. Found another pair of shorts, and this is from Vineyard Vines. Let's see here. Just a pair of basic khaki style shorts, and they are in a size four, and it does have the whale on the back pocket there in pink. Just in excellent condition, and I know people talk about Vineyard Vines as being a good seller on Poshmark. I do have a couple of items of Vineyard Vines in my Poshmark closet, which to be honest, are not really moving all that well. So I'm not sure how well this brand sells for me, but I just couldn't pass up on these pair of shorts. I thought it was just a very classic design in great condition. Next up, I found this pair of Miss Me jeans. It's the bootcut jean in size 25. And here's the back. They're so unique designs every time from Miss Me. 
here's what it looks like. So just gorgeous back pockets there with the flaps, which I think do pretty well, the setting details, and all of the embellishments seem to be pretty intact, which I always look for, of course. And the jean itself is in really great condition. There's really no wear at the cuffs or anything else. So I was excited to find this pair of jeans. Uh, jeans are marked up at our Goodwill, so this cost me $13, but I thought it was a very nice design. So up next, I have a pair of Prana shorts, I believe. Yes, shorts, size six. And this is a little bit of a longer inseam short compared to some other ones that I have in my closet now. But I have a few Prana items. I think they tend to get a decent amount of interest in the closet. So I thought I'd add this kind of stone, light gray type of color. Um, really good for hiking and outdoors activities this time of year. Next, we have this pair of BDG jeans in a size 24. So I do have a few pair of BDG jeans or items in my closet now, which to be honest, don't move all that well. I think I've sold one or two BDG items this summer, but that's basically it. But I just couldn't help myself with this particular pair of jeans. Um, I don't know why. Um, I know I shouldn't buy these things if they don't sell in my closet, but um, I just love this style. Look at it. It's um, really skinny toothpick style design, but it has the buttons up the front, which I think is trendy, high rise, as you can see here. And the wash is really what I liked about it. It's a very light wash, so really good for summer months again, transitioning into fall. I think this was perfect. So because of the wash, the high rise, and the button fly, I thought I'd give these a shot. So we'll see how they do, um, but really nice uh, condition as well. Next up, I found this really great pair of All Saints jeans, um, which is my first time finding a pair of jeans from All Saints. It's a size, let's see, 27. The style is called Mast. Here's the All Saints label. And while I've been thrifting, I've only found one other pair of All Saints items. There's the back there. And it was a beautiful silk uh, top that I have currently listed in my closet if you want to check it out, but I haven't found their jeans before. So I was excited to find this pair. I thought it was in pretty good condition. It does have the really cool zippers at the hemline or cuffs here. And really excellent condition as you'd expect from this brand. So really nice pair of designer jeans. Um, this is actually about my size, so I may end up keeping this, we'll see. But um, really nice style, trendy pair of jeans from All Saints, so I'm excited to get this listed. Um, this particular pair of jeans is considered designer, of course, so it uh, was $13 at my Goodwill. The next pair of pants is from Athleta. Here's the Athleta tag. And it's a size two. It was $10, and it has a button fly zipper and a bunch of zippered pockets, as you can see here. It has a cool kind of parachute -y type of material, and the back has a couple of zippered pockets as well. It's a full-length pant, it looked like, but I just love this material. I thought it was super fun. It has elasticized waistband, so really forgiving, and um, I thought I'd give it a try. It's a really nice, fun, athletic, athleisure type of style pant. So the next item is another pair of Atleta pants in a size 2, maybe from the same person. This tag is a little bit more beaten up there, I'll say, but it's Atleta. And this pair of pants I picked up will need to be steamed, of course. And one of the reasons I picked up this pants is it's 100% linen. And you can tell by just the feel of them. Um, they definitely are linen. And a little bit of a wide leg style here. It's full length, I believe, in great condition. It has some back pockets with some button details as well. It's a really nice basic linen pant from Athleta. And then some more athletic wear. I found this uh, Nike shorts. It's a dry fit uh, short, which I believe is kind of a running style. It does have the brief liner. There's the tag. And it has the Nike swoosh here. And I always check that to make sure it's in good condition as it is. I think the style is really nice, a very lightweight, dry fit, pull on pair of shorts, and the size on this one is a size large. I don't know about the pattern, how well this will do, but I figured I'd give it a try. I sold a pair of Nike running shorts before pretty easily, so I'm excited to see how this one does. 
And then I have a little bit more athletic wear. So this is Athleta size small. And here's the Athleta logo on the back. And I wasn't too sure how this one would do, but I wanted to try it. So it looks like it's a skirted cropped legging. It was $5.69. And there's a skirted ruched legging here, as you can see, and it comes with the skirt on top. So for some people that like backside coverage, it's kind of a built-in all-in-one skirt and legging, which I thought was kind of cool. It was a nice condition, so I wanted to see how this does. And then I have another pair of athletic wear and this is from the brand Lucy and I've said before I do really enjoy sourcing Lucy I think um, Lucy tends to do relatively well here on Poshmark and here's the Lucy tag it's in a size small and Lucy's trademark is this little orange bar that you can find on their items this is just a basic pair of leggings, but bottoms tend to do pretty well. Uh, it was a little bit marked up though, $10. I'm not sure if I should have quite spent that much on this, but nonetheless I did. Um, and it wasn't a true pair of leggings. It's really kind of this parachute type of material too, so I thought it would be very comfortable. Uh, it's in my size, so if it doesn't sell well, I'll just go ahead and keep it, I figured. Um, but I like the style of this. It's great condition. A very nice basic to have in the wardrobe. And then another athletic piece was a brand I'm not familiar with. I paid $6 for. It's Joy Lab. And I need to figure out where this is sold. I don't think it's a very high-end uh, piece. And I've seen a lot of it, however, um, when I'm outsourcing. It's a size extra small. But partially why I picked this up is the design. So I love... The design here it's a little sports bra but look at the back it's really cool cutouts there strappy design i love the pattern here and of course what i liked about it too was that it's new with tags oh i'm sorry it says right here i thought so but i didn't want to say anything it's actually sold at target um, so i have seen this before so of course not a very high price point i'm sure but i figured i'd give it a try it's new with tags and just a really nice design so i'm not sure how it'll do but we'll give it a shot Okay, so next up, we have a brand that I love finding, and that's one of the Stitch Fix brands, so it's Market and Spruce. And of all the Stitch Fix brands, I think Market and Spruce probably does the best for me. They make a lot of nice knitwear, and going into the fall months, I'm starting to look more at knitwear, as I mentioned earlier. So I was excited to find this one, it's just a basic heathered gray sweater, as you can see. And it's in a size extra large, but look at the back. It's this nice woven cobalt blue, so I love this color. So mixed media, just perfect, just beautiful colors and in excellent condition. So I think this will do well on Poshmark, and I'm excited to get it listed. Here's a sweater that I may end up keeping just because I love it. Um, it's 1901 is the brand. I believe this is sold at Nordstrom, but definitely let me know down below if I'm wrong about that. But look at this pattern. I just love this. Um, and it's just this beautiful wave design. The material is really nice. It has some button up the back. It's in a size large, which is definitely not my size, but I like my sweaters to be very oversized. So I thought it might uh, look good on me. Um, so I might end up keeping this. We'll see. I'll have to try it on and everything. It's a size large. Um, the sweater was $7. Then next up, I found this Lucky Brand dress, I believe. Yes, Lucky Brand dress. It's a size extra small. It's new with tags, as you can see there, which is largely why I went for it. Um, I don't tend to pick up Lucky Brand clothing items. I like their shoes a lot, but clothing items, I don't know how well um, I can resell. But if it's new with tags like this, um, the retail price is $70 on here. Um, I thought I'd give it a try. I thought the style was good for this time of year. It has some cute ruffle sleeve details and has kind of a short style dress design. Really nice, uh, lightweight material. And it's also in coral, which is very trendy this year, as you know. So I thought I'd... Uh, Give this one a try. I paid $7 for it, um, but I thought it was a great style. The next item is perfect going into fall. Another new at tags item from Nordstrom. It's by the brand Nick and Zoe or Nick and Zoe. Um, here's the tag. It's a size 1X. 
And I have one other item from this line in my Poshmark closet currently that is also new with tags. It's a beautiful linen skirt if you want to check it out. Um, but look at this cardigan. Again, it's uh, new with tags here. And the retail price, I can't really see here, but usually these items retail for quite a bit. Definitely over the $100 price points, usually $150 to $200 price point, I imagine, for a long cardigan like this. But just a beautiful woven cardigan. It has these kind of eyelash details in the fabric there. It has pockets. Um, just a lot of intricate detail in this beautiful cardigan. And I think there's just one closure on here, if I remember, a hook and eye closure which is intact, there are two, sorry, three hook and eye closures. If you want to close it, you can, or you can just wear it open. Just a beautiful design. Um, so I couldn't pass this up, especially going into fall. I did pay up a little bit if I believe, yeah, it's $25. So it's a little bit of a markup, but I know this retails for quite a bit and I thought it would do really well going into fall. I just love the colorway as well. So we'll see, not sure how that'll do, but um, I just couldn't leave it behind. This next item is a beautiful sweater from Anthropology Leaf Notes, and it's a size medium. There's the tag. And I believe, let me just check, yes, it's from Anthropology, so the tag will often tell you where it's from. So I loved this sweater, size medium. As I said, so I want to try this one on too, of course, but look at these beautiful embellished uh, doves, it looks like. I love these animal type designs um, that are pretty subtle. I think they're just really cute. And it's kind of a satin type material on the back, so a mixed media sweatshirt. I love sweatshirts, especially going to fall. So this one may also make it into my personal closet. Um, but just a beautiful sweater in great condition, and I paid um, $8.69 for this. Next up, I have an Anthropology Maeve blouse, size zero. And this is just a fun printed blouse. Um, it has some beautiful crochet details, kind of a Henley style. It's a little bit of a peplum on the bottom, split hemline, but just a very lightweight airy floral top. Perfect for transitioning again into fall because it's long sleeve, I thought. So it's a really nice um, blouse from Maeve. So next I have a Madewell sweater in a size medium. So another one that I'm loving going into fall. I love these cozy waffle knit uh, sweaters as we go into fall. And this oatmeal color is probably my number one color sweater that I personally look for. So I was super excited to find this one. And it has a beautiful waffle knit. Some nice uh, high low hem at the bottom. As you can see here, there's a little bit of a crisscross design at the bottom. But great condition, made well, classic sweater, you just can't go wrong. I paid $8.69 for, which is the price that most of our sweaters are. But beautiful, beautiful sweater. Next we have, this is Topshop, uh, size four. I paid $7 for this, and as I said before, Topshop moves really well through my closet. I don't find it too often. I don't think it's sold in too, too many places. I know Nordstrom definitely sells it. I know they have their own boutiques. However, I don't think they're all uh, that many places, though. Um, so when I do find it, um, I definitely like picking it up if it's in good condition. I love this sweater. It's a really nice cropped oatmeal sweater with a pocket detail there. You can see pretty trendy with the crop design, perfect again for transitioning into fall. And again, it's this gorgeous oatmeal color, the classic color of sweaters that I look for. So just gorgeous. Couldn't pass this one up. Otherwise, just a plain ribbed crop sweater. Then I found one of my all-time favorite brands I talk about, Bowden, in a skirt this time. So it's a size two. There's the Bowden logo. I don't need to keep telling you guys if you've seen my other videos. I love selling Bowden on Poshmark. Um, does very well for me. It's hard for me to keep up supplying Bowden though for my closet because it sells that quickly. But this time I found a skirt. This beautiful kind of eggplant color. It has some pockets on it. Very nice career wear item. So I'm hopeful this will do well in the closet. I paid uh, $6.69 for this particular item. I just have one small bag to finish up here. And the next is a pair of Patagonia pants I paid $13 for. It's a size six. 
So you know Patagonia seems to do pretty well. And look at this pair of pants. It's in great quality and great design, good condition. There's the Patagonia lo logo. It has button style front with a zipper and also some drawstrings. It's great color. Um, this kind of olive type green color, which I thought would do really well. It's this fun wide leg crop pants with some nice zipper details, as you can see, kind of a cargo style. So really, really fun for hiking and outdoors from Patagonia. So next up, I found another one of my favorite brands, <laughs> Free People, size 24. And look at this pattern. It's this corduroy style printed floral skinny pants or jeans um, and just in really great condition. So I love finding free people items. I think they do pretty well. I'm not sure how well these unique patterns will do. I think in general, the more classic designs, um, some of the jeans I've sold for them um, do really well, but I um, figured I'd give this a shot. It's perfect for going into the fall as well. So um, definitely a good find. And like most pants at my Goodwill, I did pay $10 um, for this pair. Next up, I have another pair of pants that are $10. Again, most pant items are $10. And this is from the Anthropology brand Elevensis, I believe, um, size zero. There's the tag. I've never found this brand before, but I do like this career style pant. Um, it's a small size, size zero, but look at the wide leg here. And it has a nice built-in cuff at the bottom. Really classic design and colorway. So I'm hopeful somebody will like this for a career style pant. Um, just in really good condition. I also found at the pants section um, a brand that I always look for, and that's Everlane. I paid $7.70 for this. It's a size zero. It's a pull-on elastic waistband style pant. There's the tag. And it does zip up the side, as you can see here. And it is new with tags, so super excited about that. Um, so this brand is an ethically made, uh, radically transparent is their logo brand. And has a strong following on Poshmark, as I'm sure you've heard. Look at this beautiful pant here. It's excellent quality, as you can feel when you touch it. And a nice classic navy, perfect for work, I think. Um, and again, it's a size zero. So I'm always looking out for Everlane. There is a strong following here on Poshmark. And I have sold two Everlane pieces so far. So this brand does very well for me. It's just hard to find it. So when I find it, I get excited, especially if it's new at Tag. So I was very happy to find this. Um, in general, I don't tend to look at the pants section of my Goodwill, but on this particular day when I was there, I did have some extra time. So I kind of wanted to go through those racks a little bit. Uh, I'm glad I did. I found a couple of really nice pairs of pants, as you can see. So I definitely would consider checking out the pants section if you don't usually do so. Um, I think people are looking for career wear, especially going to the fall. These nice style of pants, I think, probably will do pretty well. Next up, I have another brand sold at Anthropology. It's Cartonier. Of course, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but this beautiful blazer, and it is in a size large and I paid $10.69 for this item which is the price of our blazers or kind of medium to slightly heavier weight beautiful lined blazer look at the lining um, and this beautiful eggplant pattern there's some pockets there so I thought perfect going into fall career wear or even back to school so really really nice condition blazer from this brand and I haven't yet found this Anthro brand so I was very happy to find it on this day I just have a few more items at the bottom of the bags here. The next is from Miss Me. This is in a size medium. Just a kind of a basic tank, but nothing they do is really basic, I should say. So this is new at tanks, which is really the reason why I wanted to pick this up. But look at this really funky tank top. It has a ton of embellishment, like their items tend to. It's a very lightweight, slub knit type of kind of burnout material and really exaggerated asymmetrical hemline. So uh, I thought this would do pretty well. It's just a very simple tank. I thought it was a good size as well. So we'll see how that does. And then I believe I just have two dresses. And I do love sourcing dresses. 
So the first is from the brand Leith, which I know is sold at Nordstrom. I'm not sure if it's sold anywhere else, but definitely Nordstrom. There's the tag. So a size medium. And look at this, just beautiful. The dress was $10.70, like most of our dresses. But I just love this design. It's a little bit of a, kind of at the knee, I would imagine. It will hit you. Uh, so mini to midi length style dress. I love this color and I love the design. Look at the um, overlay here. There's the lining and look at the sleeve detail, a little bit of a balloon cuff there. So I thought this dress would be perfect going into the fall months. I just love the color and design and the brand is also really nice as well. So all those things um, are what made me pick this dress up. And then my final item to share with you on this haul is this beautiful gray dress from Everly. I believe this brand is sold at Anthropology, potentially other places as well. I hauled this exact dress on a previous haul, if you want to check out below. But um, it's currently listed in my closet and has been getting a decent amount of attention. So I was happy to come across it again. The dress I have currently in my closet is a black color and this is the light gray. So um, I thought that would be nice. It's the same size as, as the other dress. It's a size medium. So maybe it's the same person that donated. Hard to say. but. Look at the design, just really simple dress. I love the sheer sleeves here. Um, actually, now that I look at it, I think this dress, the sleeves are a little shorter than the one I currently have in my closet now. Just a really fun pull-on style dress. Um, great condition and very classic design, just can't go wrong. Okay. So I think that's it. Um, a pretty long uh, Goodwill haul, I know, but I found a lot of really fun items. And as I'm sure you've all experienced, whenever you go thrifting, there are some days that are good, some days that are bad. It's just hard to predict. This is definitely a good day for me, so I've got a lot of stuff. Um, thanks for watching through the end of this video. I hope you learned a little bit about what types of brands to look out for when you're out there and what types of price points I'm looking at. I think overall my price points are a little bit higher than elsewhere in the country when I watch these videos, but um, you know that's what I have to work with so I'm hopeful that sharing this information with you can kind of help you as you go along your resale journey as well. If you have any uh, questions about these items let me know or if you have any questions about my relatively new experiences on the Poshmark app please also uh, don't hesitate to comment down below. Otherwise if you haven't done so already please consider giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoy haul videos and subscribing to my channel as well. Otherwise I'll plan to see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!